Hey everybody, it's Isaiah Martin here. So with this tremendous week that we have had with the Inflation Reduction Act well on its way towards passage and with the tremendous jobs report that we received earlier today, how do you think Republicans are handling today? Check this video out. Those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the world now and forever. Jesus, we trust in you. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits. Release this bondage that's going on in our country and upon Brandon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, I'm just going to be candid here. That's just straight up weird. I mean, after everything that happened this week, their first thought was to get onto a plane. I guess, I mean, some of them drove. Get to CPAC and pray for the strength of a convicted insurrectionist. For those of you who don't know, that is Brandon Straka. Somebody who is literally guilty for trying to undo the very fabrics of American democracy. If you look a little bit closer, that was Marjorie Taylor Greene right next to him. Look, I, I know, I don't know why I'm surprised. I know you're probably not surprised because it's not about making your life better. This is some kind of like cult-like personality. I mean, this is this is weird. I mean, let's look at this again from a different angle because this this is crazy. You can't even make this stuff up anymore. I mean, do they think that you're supposed to feel bad for somebody who is incarcerated for trying to overturn American democracy? Someone who is trying to uh, make themselves feel better about the fact that their movement has lost the White House, the Senate, and the House of Representatives in just four years, the largest voter turnout in American history. This is a dying ideology because this is a group of Americans who has tried every piece possible to stop progress and to make themselves feel better after getting much needed news that our economy is on the up and up, that we are passing legislation to cut down on inflation, to lower the cost of prescription drugs, to pretty much everything that is challenging our economy. They want to churn up the emotions to get you to feel bad for some people who wanted to overthrow our democracy. So, I mean, hey, uh, I expect nothing more from this group, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, I'm pretty sure pretty soon you're about to start seeing some Hunter Biden stories nonstop. Laura Ingram's going to talk about the caravan that's supposedly coming. I mean, this is where uh, MAGA is right now. And this is the base of the Republican Party. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They're winning primaries. Look at what happened in Pennsylvania. Look at what happened in Arizona just a few days ago. But we and everybody else, you and I, are getting ready. We're gearing up to reject this foolishness at the ballot box this November. I'm excited uh, because we're going to show up in droves and we're going to retire them all once and for good. So let's feel just uh, good about the prospect for progress that we're about to reach and let's have a quick laugh. It's Friday, everybody, so I hope you're feeling good. Uh, let's go and have a laugh at what these people are doing on their Friday while we celebrate America moving forward and much needed progress being delivered to our country.